Oh, that's way better. I don't know how to what knock up? on a door. What do you mean? I don't know how to knock on a door. Yeah, what? <laughs> I already got a whole shot okay. of it. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am finally wait if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that button and if you watch my videos and you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribed it would help me out so much today i am finally filming my house tour video this was a uh, much requested i've been wanting to film this ever since i had the idea of wow i'm like there's a light right next to the lens and it is straight up blinding me Okay, let's not look at that. Ever since I started my YouTube channel, I literally have been wanting to do this house tour video, especially because we renovated our entire place. The before and afters are just so dramatic and crazy. I'm so proud of what we did as our first renovation, so I can't wait to share it with you guys. I'm also gonna show you, I took some footage a few weeks ago of my place being an absolute disaster because I always wanna keep it real with you guys. And like, yes, this house tour video is what my place looks like when it's absolutely spotless and clean and that is you know maybe one day out of the week when we decide to clean everything and the rest of the days it's a freaking mess like everyone else's places i'm gonna share those clips with you too because i just figured you know i don't want to come off looking like everything's all perfect all the time because it's definitely not i think that's it this light is blinding me this is the first time that i ever like decorated something on my own in our last apartment it was our first place and it was kind of just like a bunch of furniture that we got as hand-me-downs and it just like it worked but this place i definitely took a lot more pride in and during quarantine i had so much time on my hands to just really like complete a vision also, by the way, just to explain the renovation a little bit, it was a two month renovation. It was pretty much a full gut. We did the floors, painted the walls, did new doors, installed HVAC, brand new kitchen, completely gutted the entire kitchen, did not salvage one thing in the kitchen, and a complete gut of the bathroom as well. We took out the sink, the bathtub, all the tiling on the walls, everything. Um, we also put new windows on this apartment. I'm going to do a whole other separate video about the renovation process and kind of like what I learned from my first renovation. And that is like a whole separate video, but that is everything we did. I'm gonna share all the before pictures of what this place looked like. It was a disaster when we bought it. I have Tyler filming it also. I haven't even watched the footage yet, so I hope it's good. If it's a little shaky or like a little odd you know why because tyler works in construction not as a videographer so okay i'm gonna stop rambling and see you on my home tour what's up guys welcome to my home tour video i'm gonna show you guys my home okay let's go So I have this wicker basket, come on over. We have my very expensive candle that was saving for a special occasion. And that special occasion is this, my home tour video. I have like a little crystal and some Palio Santos for like good vibes and stuff. I love these posters, they're from Poster Store. And I will try to find the links for them. I don't know if I can, but I'll try to find them. I really love these frames. I feel like they totally complete the vision I had for this whole wall. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment. It's in a duplex. I'm gonna show you guys all the before and afters. This is the living room. I honestly really love this space. This is where Tyler and I spend most of our time. This is our big comfy couch. Just, you know, hang out here for a long time. Get stuck on TikTok. That's where that happens. This candle, I made at Candleland, actually, if you saw in my last vlog. She's my girl. He's my girl. Mwah. I actually love this wood piece. It's come with us from our last place too. Literal piece of like driftwood. And he found it just like washed up on the beach in the Bahamas and thought it was super cool. And I think it's super cool too. Makes for a really great little like centerpiece. So I love that. These little guys, Tyler and I actually got from the Grand Canyon. So they're very special to us because that's where we got 
engaged on that trip. And like the carvings, what did they say? Like each carving has like some cool special meaning. It's like, you know, protection or strength or things like that. And then obviously we have the picture of the day we got engaged. Um, yeah, and that's it for the wall shelf, floating shelf. Yeah. Yeah. This is my dining room table. I actually end up doing a lot of work here. Obsessed with these, I got them for like one dollar at Hobby Lobby. And I pretty much like thrifted the whole set. I got these chairs on like off rope and the table on my go or Facebook Marketplace, but I'm obsessed with that little corner. And these two Pope paintings, I actually grew up with these in my like childhood house. It kind of just like reminds me of home because I grew up with those in my house. Okay, so now we move on to the kitchen. Over here we have our little laundry department. Don't love that it's in my kitchen, but also I'm just really thankful mm. to have a washer and dryer in our unit because our last place we had to use quarters and it was in a laundry room outside of the building and it was like the biggest hassle mm. in the world. Mm. So thankful, hashtag blessed. And then I have this like cute little sign that I really like. I'm proud of it, I think it's cute. Behind here is stuff that you just that we just hide. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Okay, that's it. It's like towels and stuff like that. Uh, pantry, this is one of my favorite parts about the kitchen. It is our breakfast bar slash coffee bar. I'm like not explaining what there was here. Mm -hmm. There was an AC unit here and we knocked that out and put the window for natural light. <laughs> Clearly you can see there's not that much light coming out of it because it's a small window, but um, it's the top that counts. And I have my little espresso machine and my sugar packs and my little spoons. And that's where I make my coffee in the morning. It's pretty self-explanatory. Our cabinets are custom made because they go to the ceiling. So we got all of our appliances like $750 off, which is a really, really good discount. Yeah, my dishwasher thinks so too. Yeah, and then the backsplash, I actually had my followers vote on which backsplash I should do, and they picked this one, so we went with this one. Like that. Not super organized, but I do like having the fridge at the top, and then the freezer at the bottom. Really enjoy this layout. This is actually my mom's map of Italy. I think it's really pretty. It's just a map of Italy. Oh, it's also covering our entire, what is it called? Panel. Panel, electric panel. So it like fits perfectly. I have to explain this to you guys. Yeah. So Still work in progress. we renovated this whole thing. Once we got doors, we were just like done renovating. We haven't painted the doors. The doors still have stickers on them. None of the doors are painted. These are still not painted. Yeah. And yeah, we're just gonna have to do that before we move out. And this was like a linen closet. So we had to put the HVAC in here because there was nowhere else to put it. Because of this situation, we basically have to like build out this closet before we leave. Yeah, we just pretend that's not there. We're the owners, we do what we want. Yeah, we need the room here. This bathroom was disgusting. This shower was like all disgusting. Okay, yeah, just get that while I'm talking about the shower. <laughs> also, Tyler is filming this. <laughs> He's in camo, so you can't see him. Tyler's grandpa and his mom installed this entire shower, so shout out them. They cut all the tiles, put it all in. They did an amazing job. They have like a little uh, rain. What's that called? Shower heads. This I'm very proud of, this whole situation. I, again, got my inspiration from Pinterest. Jess and I found it at Home Goods. It's like where I keep some of my skincare and just miscellaneous like shampoo and conditioner down there. And I was looking for something for this spot. <laughs> something for this exact spot for so long. Like I had a hamper there and then we, I just had like random shit there. And when I saw this, I was like, that is perfect. And I still just can't get over it. I just love it so much. That's the bathroom. This is the office slash guest room slash Tyler's game room slash man cave slash smoking room slash closet slash storage slash storage <laughs> slash cat's room yeah obviously. slash cat's room pretty self-explanatory we have a futon here for guests we wanted to make sure we had a place for guests to crash if they wanted to stay with us Tyler has his gaming system here and then for me because i actually work i have my computer usually here plugged in i have the important stuff 
like girl boss reminding myself, you know, and like my very important business cards. The quote from our friend Cindy Prado who said this quote on one of the episodes and it really inspired me so I wanted to put it up there so I could always see it. Here I have like pictures of my best friends from high school. These are my girl pals for fiddle leaf. If you guys have any tips for fiddle leaf trees, let me know. This one is our star. She's our superstar. I mean, she's just like always thriving. We put her over the litter box, doesn't even care, still thriving. And I got this in Florence. I love getting art from like different places I've traveled because then you just like sprinkle them around the place and you're reminded of those amazing travel to memories. <laughs> <laughs> I love this little gallery or like collage. I made this with a company called Deceno. Deceno? Don't know how to say it, but I partnered with them and Tyler actually made the frames by hand. Go handyman. But I really like this whole vibe. My favorite room of the house, something I'm very proud of, our bedroom. This is where magic happens. A lot went down in here in terms of like trying to figure out how I wanted it to be styled. This is my closet. I have all of my clothes in here because that's the one rule I made with Tyler when we moved in is that I get the double closet, but I have more shit so it makes sense. Basically, I hide stuff behind these curtains and we took out the, what are they called? Like the doors that you like. Like accordion doors or like? Yeah. They're just closet doors. Closet doors. I took those out and replaced them with curtains because I just think curtains are like a prettier vibe. Bunch of clothes. I have shoes down there, shoes up here, pictures of my grandma and my old dog, and like purses. This is a bear Tyler got me in 2013 for Valentine's Day. I also hide my hamper in here so it's not an eyesore. So we hide that behind the curtain. <laughs> love this stool. I forgot where I got that stool, but. I love it. And then this is more side like the clothes that I actually wear every day. Kind of have it sorted on like a tank top, t-shirt, long sleeve basis, not color coded necessarily, kind of. All my clothes are kind of the same color, so. These prints we actually got in the gift shop of Antelope Canyon, which is where this happened. Um, this is my bedside situation. I have like tissues, the book I'm reading right now, which is A New Earth. And I like to read before bed. I try to, instead of being on my phone, I sleep way better. Show people this beautiful wall that I'm very proud of. This inspiration I actually saw in a TikTok video because I had no idea what to do with this whole wall. And I will add a before picture of what I have here. Like my furniture situation, it was not cute. But yeah, once I saw the dresser with a round mirror on top, I've kind of like built off of that. The chair is from Ikea. I had a vision about a corner chair and I actually went through a few different chairs. We got one that was like way too big. And I settled on this, it's from Ikea. I paid way too much for shipping because Ikea has really expensive shipping, but it was quarantine and I was determined to finish this room. And I really wanted to like showcase my books and my book kind of collection, even though there's not that much here. Books are really important to me, so I figured I wanted to incorporate them in my room somehow and kind of like show them off in a nice displayed manner. There's some hats that I actually wear all the time. This is my dresser situation. I have a lot of like my leggings and stuff and my jeans. I think this is honestly mostly like bottoms, jeans and sweatpants. This is my little jewelry stand. I got this from Target and I actually use this all the time. I always hang up my jewelry and put it back in its place because if I don't, I will lose it. So I've gotten better at like making sure I take things off and put it there and then put, put it on here as well. This is honestly one of my favorite parts of the room, this little lantern, because at night I actually do use it. These are battery operated candles, so no fire hazard here. And I actually turn it on every night and stick it back in the lantern and it makes a really pretty like candle lit situation without, you know, burning our entire apartment down. Also, I forgot to mention that there was an entire wall here. Anyways, there's like a wall up until here that was just completely blocking off the kitchen and we knocked it down to open it up. And I'm so glad we did. That was like the best idea we had because it was not cute. So now it's all open concept. That is it for my home tour video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that button. Oh, and this is this is Meow Meow, and she lays on this part of the couch every day. Hi, Meow Meow. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on next week's video. You don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the fuck out of here.
I'm sure you live in the canyon. How big is your mansion? Pretty girl in the back Hey, baby, what's your time? Me in California. La, 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 la. Yeah, I'm better at a one-o.